Hey guys, Keith here with uh, Scare Innovation. Wanted to do a quick rundown of your shock mine. I wasn't able to get the instructions packaged in all of them, so I thought I'd sh shoot a real quick job. So basically, you should get the shock mine. You have your remote, you have uh, your power plug. And just to mention, the power plug is actually a USB standard USB. I don't know if you can see there. You could unplug that. If you want to run it on battery, you can actually hook up to um, a phone charger, battery bank, plug in there, and these will work off that as well. Um, most of them were all plug-in. So uh, basically the simplest way to operate them is with the uh, remote. Basically you plug it in. When you plug it in, it's going to do a test fire, which always startles me. Uh, and then you press the button. Pretty straightforward. Most people have questions though about how to hook this to a motion sensor, infrared trip wire. So there's two tiny um, flathead screws, set screws there. So first thing we need to do is grab us a small flathead screwdriver and you need to loosen them. Uh, you unscrew them and you should notice the little metal clip open up enough there so you can um, stick a wire in there. Now this is <clears throat> for relay only. Um, a lot of the new controllers now are solid state. The uh, solid state ones um, don't carry enough amperage. Uh, basically what we do to maintain power is this is just like pressing the button and so it draws 450 milliamps of power but for a very brief second, I think about uh, 600 uh, microseconds or nanoseconds, about a six-tenths of a second anyway. So basically we put two wires in on the end there. So basically when you touch the it goes off. So um, if you have a relay device like an infrared, a lot of them already have the relay connections. You can just simply put that right on there and, and work on it directly. I'm going to set this aside here. A lot of us in the haunt industry deal with a Peekaboo Junior. That's this box right here. And it it works with the relay outputs, not the solid state. So you have your common and your normally open. So all you have to do is put the two wires between common and normally open. I'm just like to say, so now we have the two end contactors wired to, for example, relay one common and normally open. So this means that when it's activated, it's going to basically activate that. Um, so now this makes it pretty easy. You can use a bunch of the motion sensors, the standard trigger, which I um, just got this out of the box. Um, most of you guys are familiar with these right here. They're pretty straightforward. They have four color wires. They have the wiring diagram. So the black and white go here. The red goes in the center, that's the power, and then the the end, which is the green wire. All right, I'm not gonna go too much into it, but that's basically how you hook up the uh, motion sensor. I had some really old sensors um, that, in the old days, these actually had a relay in them. All you had to do was provide power on the um, uh, red and black wire and the white and green wire were relay. The new solid state ones don't have enough power to activate it. Um, I wanted to make sure I was going to show the, the way I had done some of my older uh, motion sensors, but uh, that's not going to be the norm. So hook to the Peekaboo Junior here. We're going to give it its power. All right, I'm going to do a quick program here. We're going to press the uh, Press the record button, trigger, release, and we're done.